through the last part. Um, I'm glad that everybody's been mentioning our teams because we do have a tremendous team and no more important team for you than the one that's at your local library. Um, we have a wonderful stalwart um, librarian here in Glenn Springs, Pat Conway, um, who's been here about 20 years. I just want to say that singing the Star Spangled Banner is really hard. A cappella, alone. They gave me a really short assignment because they know I'll cry. <laughs> it's wonderful. It's just wonderful to see all of you here. Um, and you know, I appreciate all your patience. You waited while we were closed, and it, it, you know, it seemed like a long time, I know. But you waited, and I think you're going to find it's worth it. We're so excited to show it to you. Uh, I want to thank everybody who volunteered to help with the move. I love how committed this community is to its library, and I really appreciate that. You vote for us, and then you help us, and you come and use the library, and that's why libraries are here and going to stay. Um, so, I have this fantastic staff. You don't become a manager if you don't have anybody to manage. And they are the ones that come in every day and make sure, make sure that you get what you need in a friendly manner. Come on up, I want to introduce you. just great. Next to me is Darla Baumley. Darla wears two hats. She's the assistant branch manager and she's our circulation coordinator. This is Rachel Casey. Rachel is the youth services coordinator. Next to her is Rachel Hoffman. We have two Rachels. <laughs> Rachel is a library assistant. And then we have Abby Hollenbaugh who is a youth services assistant. Next to her is Sheldon Emery, and she is a library assistant. Tony Karsten. Tony, I'm glad you didn't wear the bag over your head. Thank you. <laughs> she threatened. She's shy. She's a library assistant. And, and then we have Leslie Crick, who is a library assistant, and Denise Wilson, who is a youth services assistant. Let's... to say a whole lot, but I am going to thank Amelia because I don't know what we'd do without her, and I think you all know that by now, and I'm so pleased that she won the award, it's so deserved, and I also want to thank all of you because you voted for us and ultimately make this possible by coming in here. So thank you. Enjoy your new library. We think it's wonderful. Thank you, Pat. Well, we've talked a lot about the people. I want to give you a couple things about this building that are really exciting. One is this room you're in right now has a loop system in it. A loop system is a copper antenna that runs around under the floor so people with hearing aids um, can turn uh, to a, a certain uh, T -coil. frequency. Uh, T-coil. Yes, T-coil. And uh, be able to hear through this microphone right into their ears. So great technology. We have a couple of extra headsets so if someone uh, needs some assistance, they can have that. Works for anything we run through our sound system. Uh, we also purchased some Kurzweil software through the Lions Club, and that is special assistive software for people who are um, sight impaired. It allows them to uh, use the internet and have uh, work text to speech, so it will literally read the internet to them. Uh, so those are some exciting things we have. Um, I did want to mention Lanny Grant's art is on the inside, and please enjoy that as you go in. We have several wonderful programs coming up. First is this coming Thursday at 10 a.m. We are um, very fortunate that the local Lemon Springs Masonic Lodge is laying a cornerstone for this building. And that ceremony will be at 10 a.m. And we really want to invite kids to be there. Um, they'll get, to get their hands dirty and uh, try a little masonry while they're there. And um, we then we'll have Dr. Mary Doria Russell, the author of Doc, the uh, fictional biography of Doc Holliday here on October 5th at 2 p.m. in this room. You do have to get a ticket and you can pick up those tickets today. Um, but that should be a really wonderful event with a fantastic author. 
And then we also have a very prestigious series called America's Music that will be here. Um, Lo, help me out. October 16th. Starting October 16th, a six-week film discussion series with music and all about America's music. We're one of 70 libraries nationally to be awarded that opportunity, so we're really pleased about that. I want to thank our donors um, because, like uh, Marilee mentioned, grants and wonderful things have really helped us. Alpine Bank, uh, the friends of the Glenwood Springs Library, uh, purchased this lovely room. The Lions Club, uh, Temple Hoyne Buell Foundation, and El Pomar. Neil Gehring Agency and Wells Fargo all helped as well. Can you help me give them a hand? I'm really in the home stretch, guys. Um, I have to thank my administrative staff, Emily Heisel, uh, Lowe, I'm going to just shout out your first names, Amy, Jordan, um, Wilma, I'm going to forget somebody, Michelle, Amy, um, just an amazing amount of people that are all here today. Um, a couple of other branch managers are here helping us today. Uh, but most of all, I need to thank Jerry Morris, who's probably not, there he is, <laughs> so he's probably out doing something. Jerry's our facilities manager. <laughs> And um, I literally could not have done any of the things I did for the last five years without you, Jerry. And finally, the hardest part. <laughs> Because this is your library!